Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon, and I don't know if y'all noticed that I'm in a different spot. I have been trying to get on here for about three hours. You, 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 did you just hear what I said? Three hours. I said, wow, yes, yes, yes. Um, it just would kick me off, kick me off, kick me off. So I really need to, to someone to say that it's clear um, because I, I, I'm determined, though. As you can see, three hours, and I'm still determined because I was like, oh, my God, are you serious? So, And also, I'm going to have to talk a little louder, but um, I wanted to get it out. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, right, and I already knew that I was going to have warfare because of the subject. And um, let me get the book ready. I'm serious. I have to stand in this position. I'm not even where I normally be, but that's all right. I'm not going to let him win. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You know what? He picked the right one. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because, and I know it's real. You don't hear me. I've used three phones. Could not get on three hours. I said, oh, uh, I almost got discouraged. But, you know, God just keep giving me strength. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I thank God for it. So, anyway, um, just one moment here. Um, So... What I want to talk about, and that's probably why he was fighting me so bad, let me tell you what's going on, and I'm very serious because I find myself like going to bed sometime at 4 o'clock, and I'm still praying and praying and praying and getting up quite early. I'm not kidding, like maybe even, you know, just early, real early. So it's like, okay, God, what's going on? That's because there's been a shift in the atmosphere. And when I get out, notice I didn't even, I couldn't even name this one, but it's called black magic that is being released in this hour. That's what God showed me. You have to understand a lot of people don't want to hear it because you, you, most people, to be honest with you, they're tainted. Most people are tainted. What, what does that mean? I'm going to tell you what that means. That means that the church is worldly and the church ain't even thinking about black magic, blue magic. He ain't thinking about anything. It's just entertainment. As a matter of fact, the church has gotten to the point to where this is a very lucrative business. Everybody's trying to get a dollar. Come on, somebody. Um, turn around five or six times and you might get blessed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody's talking about blessings, prosperity, and things of that nature. But the true people of God, no, we're talking about the spiritual warfare that we are actually in seeing and it's increasing. And the sad part is a lot of people don't even know it's increasing. Come on, somebody. How do you think they actually gain power? How do you think they're actually doing what they're doing? Come on, somebody. Just like we pray to God, they pray to their God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you what type of magic is actually being done in this hour so you can pray against it, pray for your family, pray for yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's called black magic. And this is the definition of it is magic sent forth for evil purposes ultimately effective by the conjuring up of demons that's what beyonce did when y'all saw that she was you know people was cutting their stuff talking about bleed for beyonce that's the same thing that's the same thing come on somebody hallelujah and believe it or not if you, if you notice every time there's a trend let's say michael jordan's or even michael Kors purse and you, you think that's just something that people are doing that's a reason why you're all falling for it. It's a reason why most of you look at empire. You don't hear what I'm saying. They pray over those things. You don't hear what I'm saying. They pray over the reels. What are the reels? The old time movies, they still have those big reels to where they pray over and they pray certain demonic chants. I literally hear them. One thing about being in a prophetic, I hear and I see things that it, it'll blow your mind. It'll blow your mind. You hear what I'm saying? So that's why I come on here and I say, okay, this is what the body of Christ needs to be. You need to be looking out for. You need to be understanding like, why am I experiencing this? I told you the first sign of witchcraft is, is witchcraft is a headache. When you get an immediate headache after talking to somebody or being in their presence, you need to do a double take like, okay, who is this? Who is this in front of me? Come on, somebody. Or even through the phone. That's why I, I anoint my ears. I truly anoint my ears. Because I don't know who I'm talking to on the other side. I, I don't know if it's a bill collector or whatever. I don't know if they believe in God or Satan. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, especially at this time of year, let me tell you what they're trying to do. They know this time of year that a lot of you are missing loved ones. A lot of you, let's say your marriage is on the rocks. Come on, somebody, which I rebuke and sever that to the root of that thing. You don't understand. It's like this is the season where if you notice people get suicidal, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. This is the season a lot of people get depressed, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. This is the season people get suppressed, oppressed. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You, you understand what I'm saying? 
And this is the season that they love to allow those spirits. They conjure up these demons. And what they're called is tormenting demons, people. Because God is not going to keep doing something and telling you something to make you hurt yourself. God is not going to keep punishing you. God is not a God of guilt to where you'll be over, you know, feel overwhelmed. Come on, somebody. And, and another thing, is it God? During this season, and, and I so I'm so glad I stopped celebrating this thing. I see people stressed out. Oh, I gotta get this gift. Oh, I gotta go here. Oh, I gotta do this. Putting pressure on themselves where they're gonna take out payday loans, where they're gonna take out loans, where they're gonna borrow some money, they'll work double shifts knowing they're already tired. You don't know, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I don't think that God will call the body of Christ to put themselves through that or their family. That's not of God. There's no way you can tell me that's of God. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. God said, I have come that you might have life and more abundantly. God is not going to tell you to go get in debt behind somebody. Come on, some. I don't care if it's your children or what. God is not going to tell you that somebody lying. God is not going to put you under stress. God said, I've come to give you joy, life, peace. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm just telling you in this season, and it's not to install fear in this season. This is the time you have to be careful because guess what? Emotions are open. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And they are dependent on that. They know what they're doing. Oh, come on, somebody, honey. They know I'm talking about sales. They're not really sales. If you really look at it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you so much things go on behind the scenes in this hour, and I'm just saying, stay prayed up, God says. That's what, this is the thus said the Lord. God says, stay prayed up. Stay in his word. Pray the word. A lot of you, you speak the problems more than you speak the promise. You got to start getting in that Bible. You got to understand who you are. You got to decree and declare that thing. You got to fight for your family. You got to fight for your husband. You got to fight for your wife. You got to fight for your friend. You got to fight for your daughter. You got to fight for your son. Don't you think that Come on, somebody. If Jesus Christ died on the cross and he would know what you know he did, the power that he has given you, Luke 10 and 19, I always, I rehearsed that. I rehearsed that. I rehearsed that because I wanted in my spirit so that flow out. The, the anointing will flow out. The power is reminding you of your authority. Come on, somebody. You know why you're going through? Because you're not taking authority. And then some of you, you get, you get so overwhelmed that you speak the thing. Stop speaking, God says. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. What are you speaking, man of God? What are you speaking? Speaking, woman of God, and let me tell you something. You're going to have to have a radical praise in this hour. And let me tell you something else. You're going to have to have some tenacity. That's what I did. I'm not kidding. It three hours I've been trying to get on this live. I'm not kidding. Using different phones and, and, and ain't nothing wrong with nobody's phone. You don't hear what I'm saying. They don't want me. And, and that's how I'm starting to feel. They don't want me on here no more. But guess what? The devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. I'm going to get on here and I'm going to say what does said the Lord. Yes, I was frustrated. Yes, I was like three hours, God. Come on, somebody, because I had just finished the class. So you know I'm tired. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But guess what? Uh, I started praying up in that corner. Come on, somebody. I started praying. I said, God, 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 I have to get it to your people. Give me the strength. Give me the mental strength. Give me the power. And then I, I went and looked at Luke. 2, 10, 19. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I ask God, give me the mind of Christ. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're going to have to push. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to push. You're going to have to pray. That's what's wrong. That's why some of you feeling the way you're feeling because you give up too easily. You got to fight, honey. And then some of you say, well, guess what? If I don't bother them, they won't bother me. The devil is a lie. Don't you know them demons still bother you? Oh, come on, somebody, because that's what they do. Only in the body of Christ, they like to go on vacation. But can I tell you something that God told me to tell you? The devil don't go on vacation. I'm talking about as a matter of fact, he liked doing overtime. He liked doing overtime. Because if he could put that pressure on you, you see pressure? Oh, come on somebody. It's something about pressure. You want to know what people that is a spirit? P apply pressure. You don't hear what I just said. And that, that's on both kingdoms. You want to know where somebody is? Let a pride pressure. And you're going to find out because it'll make you or it'll break you. And one thing about it, I've learned in my early days. You're going to have to push with tears in your eyes. You're going to have to push when you're tired. You're going to have to push when you think it's not fair. You're going to have to push when you think you're by yourself. You're going to have to push when nobody ain't there. You're going to have to push when they talk about you. You're going to have to push when they love you and they, they really don't. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
black magic, white magic, mind-binding demons. That's what they're sending out right now. And it'll make you feel pressure, stress, um, condemnation, guilt, suicidal thoughts. I rebuke that all in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel like, well, my mama not here, my daddy not here, my brother not here, my husband. Even if you have lost a loved one, don't you understand? They depend on these season days because so say they work your mind because you're thinking about them. And those that drink, you start drinking thinking about them. And the next thing you know, you end up in a depression state. I rebuke all that in the name of Jesus. I sever that stuff to the root of that thing in the name of Jesus by the authority of the blood of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Don't play with these demons because they're not playing with you. I'm so serious. It's time for the body of Christ to really man up and woman up. Stop crying. Stop picking up the phone, calling everybody else. You get down and pray, God say. You get on that word, God says. You fast, push that, push that play back. You don't hear me, even if it's a day or two. You got to start doing what you got to do. Hello, praise God. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah to his name. God is reestablishing this church. And if y'all don't know that, I'm here to tell you. God is lifting up a standard against the enemy. And God is, is right now, he's raising up some bold soldiers. Because you see, that's what they mean. Many are called and few is chosen. You see the many? They're they, they in and out. They're in and out. One day they love God, the next day they just want to do what they got to do. The chosen with pain in your body, with tiredness in your body, with tears in your body, with discouragement discouragement in your mind. I, I'm, I'm going, God. I'm going. I don't understand it. I'm doing it, God. That's all God wants. Do your best. Don't give up. Stay in it. Understand that the battle is really not yours. It's for you to stay in position. It's for you not to get discouraged. It's for you to push push past the pain and every other thing that the enemy tries to send at you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon because that's what I did tonight. And I thank God because it's, it's, about, it's about him. I haven't even eaten all day. And he, I, I was like, devil, you got the wrong one today because my spirit full. I know you're trying to wear me out with this. I'm serious. Three hours it took you guys to get on here. I'm not kidding. And then as you can see, I had to get in a different location. I said, oh, Okay, you want to play hard? Well, guess what? Let's play hard. You don't hear me. That's how you got to do this. That you can get discouraged. You come on somebody, you got to, he want to fight. God said, I've already had the victory anyway. So all I got to do is stay in position. Oh, hallelujah to his name. So I pray that you stay in prayer, fast, cover your family, people. Y'all be wondering why these things are happening because you're not praying. Ain't nobody decreeing and declaring in that household. Just letting the devil do what he want to do, how he want to do it, when he want to do it. The devil is a lie. You got to take control, take authority. Luke 10, 19. God bless you and God keep you. Roll out, soldiers. Apostle Deanna Dixon.